February 14th, Valentine's Day. Driving to Moab. Been snowy crossing the border into Utah. All right, next day. Nice and sunny here all of a sudden, here in Moab. Driving up towards the uh, starting line. Sandy, check out the, the start of the race uh, for tomorrow. Moab Red Hot 55K. Uh, yeah, nice and sunny here. It's gonna be a little bit cooler tomorrow, just past Arches National Park. I'll uh, get some footage of Arches later this weekend for you guys. All right, so this is around the start of the Moab Red Hot 55K on Gemini, is it Gemini Road? Yep. And we go up in the hills up there and do a big loop, like a half marathon loop up there. Start on this dirt road. It does look a little sloppy though, it could be a little muddy. Gotta break in the Hoka One One Torrents. Trail shoes for me. So just across the street, Moab Brands uh, mountain biking area trail. I got fuzzy on, so if you see it in the shot, that's why. I want good clean audio. It's a little breezy out here, so uh, if you see that fuzz coming down from the top of the screen, that's what that is. I got an external mic. Uh, thanks to the Patreon support for making this possible on the GoPro Hero 7. Uh, shooting usually 60 frames a second for these vlogs makes things a little bit smoother 1080 uh, of course it could shoot 2.7k and 4k video as well as well as the ultra slow motion It's got the hyper smooth stabilization don't have a karma grim karma grip gimbal yet uh, Thinking about getting one thanks to patreon support again for all making this possible as well as all your reviews on YouTube for subscribing it really helps me out a lot So can't thank you guys enough, but Sandy and I are gonna do a little shakeout run on uh, this desert trail here. Actually, we'll see what the map says. It's the day before the Moab uh, 55K, like I said. And yeah, we're doing uh, just easy, relax, shake the legs out. It was about a six and a half hour drive from Boulder yesterday to get to Moab. And excited about the race. It's kind of a long run effort. Uh, get in some nice trails. Hopefully, you know, it rained yesterday, but it's supposed to be dry. Maybe a little chilly at the start, but uh, that's okay. It's not gonna be hot in Moab, that's for sure and exploring some relatively smooth single track. Sandy and I have done the, the trail marathon out here in November, which is a way more technical course. It has a lot of like big drops and some cliffs. Uh, we lo really love the Moab trail marathon in November, but this is kind of a different experience. Moab Red Hot, bit of a faster course. Again, 55K though, it's kind of a, a longer distance. It'll be first ultra opening up the season with this race. And uh, yeah, excited to see what's out there. single track not too muddy it's a little it rained quite a bit yesterday little uh, little mud but it's not too slippy yet Moab's always got great slick rock and rock formations so keeps things dry desert environment it's amazing though it's kind of the off season here in the winter not as crowded as we're used to seeing it lazy that is the question <laughs> you gonna, you gonna be lazy may have, may have misspoke about the mud <laughs> a little sloppy there so yeah I don't want to say I'm training through a race or this is a B race or anything because I take my races seriously that being said season opener is always kind of a rust buster I'm definitely targeting uh, the Rotterdam Marathon, as well as the uh, Comrades, of course. So this is like one of the most longest 
race I've done for a while. I haven't done an ultra since Speed Goat 50K in the summer. Uh, so it'll feel long. Haven't been on the single track too much in Boulder in the winter. Haven't been doing a ton of vertical. Been doing more of that road stuff, trying to get the road speed back. But I did intentionally pick this race. Well, part of it's because it's in Moab and Sandy and I could drive here. And it's really cool. It's had a good history though. A lot of guys have run here, like Hayden Hawks in the past, uh, Rob Carr, Jim Wamsley, Alex Nichols for the men's side. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a long history uh, of performances. So it's a good barometer. I figured it'd be a good hard long run stimulus before I really buckle down on the flat speed and track work and road work heading into Rotterdam. But I feel like I have a decent base. Hasn't been a huge base. It's been a lot of 100 mile weeks. Not a whole lot more than that, but uh, again, the focus has been on speed this winter, getting in a good running form, staying healthy. As I had that injury scare after my fall at the Otter Trail Race at the end of last year, and then it took a while to get the some aerobic base back. So we'll just have to see. We'll see. Uh, but I'll definitely be training through it. It's not a total peak. It's hard to be super sharp and super fit in the winter when you have a whole season of other races planned ahead in the year that you don't want to burn out for. So it's a delicate balance. It's like you could be maybe 90% fitness for a lot of the year, but you definitely can't be at 95 to 100% fitness if you're trying to peak for a certain race. Maybe I misspoke about the mud. We have quite a bit of, got some mud going on here on the torrent there. Uh, I think it doesn't matter what kind of shoe you're wearing though, you're gonna get some mud. But hopefully it'll dry up a bit today. A little tacky out here for sure. Uh, and it, yeah, it does, you feel the weight instantly when it sticks to the bottom of your foot. I wanna make sure the trails stay in good shape as well. So yeah, should be a fun day out there. Uh, we'll probably won't have too much race footage, but I'll definitely do a race report after the race. Hopefully see it on Strava. My GPS doesn't mess up. And in the context of training, again, you know, I didn't taper down too much before this. I did only run 80 miles last week. So that was a bit of a taper from 100 miles a week. But after that, I'll definitely boost the volume again to 110, 120 miles a week, which seems to be my sweet spot. But the important thing is focusing on good form, staying healthy, training that lactate threshold a little faster than marathon race pace, marathon goal pace for a sub 219 uh, in the last seven weeks before Rotterdam. But definitely a good test, good long run test fitness to go over 50K uh, to do an ultra marathon on these trails. And there'll be some climbing and maybe some mud, so we'll just see how it goes. Oh yeah, should be a fun time. <laughs> Course record, uh, course record of the Moab 55k. Hey, what's Anthony up? Costales, 212 marathoner. Yeah, 13. 213. 13. Close yeah, enough. pretty it's close. Marathon, yeah. 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 So it should be. How do the conditions compare to last year? Do you think? Um, if it dries, if this dries up tonight, it'll be just like last year. Yeah. Nice but, and cool. Um, not too cold. Yeah. Yeah. Perfectly. Not, we're really good temperatures like Moab oh, nice. this time of year. But uh, a little muddy today from yeah. the rain last night. But I think tomorrow. With it being cold times in the morning, you're gonna yeah, be good. Yeah. Good to roll. Yeah. Well, you ran a 3:36 last year. It's a flying fast time, especially mm -hmm. compared to like Hayden Hawks, Rob Carr, yeah. Jim Walmsley, Alex Nichols, all those guys that have put down a lot of races on this course. Uh -huh. You're running the 33k tomorrow. Tune up for your uh, next race. Yep. Uh, way too cool. Way too way cool. And then, uh, yeah, moving up, mixing up. Any service, any distance. He's also been on the mountain running team. U.S. Yep. mountain running team. So. Uh, yeah, great athlete. <laughs> nice yeah. seeing you, man. All right, good seeing yeah, you. Good 
All right, so good run, good little shakeout jog the, the day before. I'll do some strides in the parking lot here. Uh, still working on that speed, limbering up the legs. It's always important. Uh, Coach Sandy, any tips? Don't fall. Uh, I try not to fall and break my ankle too. Knock on wood somewhere. There's no wood, it's all rocks around here. So uh, yeah, I uh, hope to see you out there if you're in Moab. Getting some beer after the race, sticking around. And uh, <laughs> I got a monster behind me. Sticking around, uh, seeing the sights too. I'll try to get some more views of trails uh, cause we'll be here a couple days after the race uh, for the holiday weekend. And uh, yeah, I hope to see some arches maybe and get some more footage of the trail running in beautiful Moab. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe on here. Uh, I'll put those links up. You can subscribe, like this video, share it on social media, it really helps me out a lot. Thanks to all the Patreon supporters for really making this possible. And uh, hope your running's going well. See you next time, time to fly. Thank you.